Hey guys, uh, so I would like to show you how I adjust the azimuth and um, the overall face of my Nakamichi CR4. So I will use a uh, Rigel oscilloscope and um, a cassette as a reference with 315Hz and 10kHz sine wave. And this was recorded on a reference tape machine and this will be our, uh, let's say, guideline to adjust uh, our tape deck. So first things first, we have to remove the front uh, here. It's very easy, just pull it up. And then we insert the tape. And as you can see here on the bottom, we have the azimuth adjustment for the playback, the one for the record, and as well the height of the playback and the height of the record. So the only one we will be touching for now is this one and I would say we just play the tape. And then we go to our oscilloscope. So what I set up here is I set up a MEF operator A minus B. A is channel 3 and B is channel 2 which uh, refers to the left and right channel. So as you can see here we have little bit of a difference in phase and in amplitude and the oscilloscope is telling us this is the difference of both of the signals so our goal would be to have this one as small as possible so what I do now I will use a screwdriver and adjust it bit by bit and as I adjust it I will film the oscilloscope so we can see the difference So this was around uh, two clicks, it's already looking better. Let's see if one more click can make it even better. Okay, let's see. So that was too much. So now we have to go back until we find the sweet spot. This one's quite good. I think we should leave it like this. So once you've finished everything, I would recommend you to make a mark. And I always use different colors for different settings that I made. And then I try to even out all of the settings and look how they change over time. So I hope this was helpful to you. And if you have a Rigel or any other oscilloscope then that can do math operations, it should be easy to achieve the same result.